I love upcycling stuff. Finding an item that might have sort of not go with the colour scheme anymore. You can give it a coat of paint or you can put a flower on it and then almost give it a whole new lease of life. The plan is glue gun, staple gun, rattan. Because instead of having it all just one flat colour, I'm going to try and attach some rattan to the back so it'll all come through here. So I removed the centre wardrobe panel and I'm cutting the rattan to size. I'm going to do a line of glue first. You're not actually using to secure it on firmly, you're just using it as like a base. And then you go over it with the staple gun. Look at that beauty. <laughs> I've got a couple of tension rods because life isn't worth living without a tension rod. <laughs> and basically what I'm going to do is fix a higher tension rod and then in front of it secure a slightly lower tension rod and then I'll lean the shoes on like so, so they're inside the bottom of their wardrobe space that they're not using. We're gonna use it and put all the shoes. Ewan is using a handy trick to bring old brassware back to life. I'm gonna have a go at this old coal bucket, which has definitely seen better days. The good thing about ketchup is it's something that most of us have in the home already, so if you haven't got any brass cleaning stuff, just grab a bottle of ketchup. Coming up really nicely, make a difference. I thought we could chalkboard paint the oh, inside yes. of the cupboard. Yes. Because yeah. she can still write on the cupboard, but she can wipe it off I again. Love that. Chalkboard paint can be quickly applied using a small roller. What I'm going to do is just deal with this mould on here, and I've got a really easy trick for this. All you need to do is get some neat bleach and then just run a line of it along that sealant. And then to hold it in place, I'm using cotton wool balls and we're going to leave this overnight. And by the morning, they've had a nice little party together. It's all going to be back to lovely and white. Let's have a little look at how our bleach and cotton wool balls have got on. Oh, yes. There we go. Hello, brand new bath. These stick-on tiles are super cheap, but really hard wearing, and also make it look a little bit posher. But look at that already, how much better that looks. It's so pretty and so easy. Mm. Lovely. There's one area in toilets that does get quite grotty because you don't often get to it, and that is underneath these metal hinges. If you've got this button on your toilet seat, it should just pop off like that. And this is where all that hidden dirt is. Look all around there. You can use your toilet cleaner, you can use some vinegar if you want to, and I'm just going to take an old toothbrush. I tell you what, just make sure you put this toothbrush back in the correct place because I would not want to clean my teeth with that one, I can tell you. Ooh, 